The question number 41 is a body starts from rest and moves in a circular path with angular acceleration 4 radian per second square. The angle between the velocity and the acceleration vector will be 45 degree in a time. Now dear student, what is given? The alpha is given 4 radian per second square. And the angle between the velocity and the acceleration. Now particle has non-uniform circular motion. So if the velocity is in this direction, the acceleration is along this direction. And this angle is given 45 degree. And you know that total acceleration is the vector sum of tangential and centripetal acceleration. If this angle is 45 degree, then tan 45 will be equal to AC divided by AT. This here AC and this here AT and this is the total acceleration. It is along V, so AC should be equal to A tangential acceleration. Now, centripetal acceleration is equal to R into omega square. So, R into omega square is equal to R into alpha. Now, omega square is equal to alpha. And you know, it starts from rest. Then, omega is equal to zero plus alpha t. So, I fill here alpha square t square is equal to alpha. The alpha into t square is equal to 1 or t is equal to 1 by root of alpha. And what is alpha given? Alpha is given 4 radian per second square. So, this become 1 by 2. So, answer is t is 1 by 2 and see option 2 is 1 by 2. So, correct answer. Question number 42, a body is moving with uniform speed v in a circular path of radius r as shown in the figure. t is the period of revolution. The average velocity in the section a to b. From a to b, you need average velocity. Now, what is the average velocity magnitude? That is equal to the displacement of the particle divided by the time. How much the displacement? This is the displacement. If it is r, this is r as radius then the displacement will be equal to a root 2 of r. And how much time from here to here? The time is equal to t by 4. And what is t equal to? t is equal to 2 pi r divided by v. So, I will fill here the value of delta t. So, v average is equal to root 2 of r divided by 2 pi r divided by 4 v. So, this become 2 root 2 v divided by pi. So, correct option is the last answer. So, 4. Question number 43. A small ball travels with speed v naught over a fixed wedge as shown in the figure. The minimum value of theta so that the particle does not hit the inclined plane. Now, dear student, from here it will become a projectile. So, it will go like this. When you have sufficient of V, it will hit away, but to get the value of theta, we just want that this should be the range of this projectile. And you know, h upon r from the diagram is equal to tan of theta. And how to get this range? If its initial velocity is v0, then the range is horizontal velocity into time of flight. And how get the time of flight? The t is equal to 2h by g root. So, I'll fill here. This is v0 into from here I get this value theta. So, h divided by r that is v0 2h by g root is equal to tan theta. Therefore, tan theta is equal to 1 by v naught into g h by 2 whole root or theta is equal to tan inverse.
1 by v0 into gh by 2 root. And look at the option. The option third is tan inverse 1 by v root of gh by 2. So answer to this question is answer third. Question number 44. The rain drops falling with the actual velocity of 5 meter per second on a windy day appears to fall vertical down on a man moving east with speed of 3 meter per second. If the man reverses his direction with the same speed, the rain drops will hit on him with the speed up. Now, dear students, it's given that the man is moving east with speed of 3 meter per second. And the rain appears to hit the vertically. The actual velocity of rain is 5 meter per second. So velocity of rain as observed by man is velocity of rain minus velocity of man. So if you make the triangle, this is Vm and this would be Vr. So Vr is 5. Vm is this. So this is a 5. This is 3. So this would be 4. Right? In the second case, he says that man reverses the direction. So if man reverses the direction, then in the second case, velocity of rain relative to man is velocity of rain minus velocity of man. But now the direction is changed. Therefore, if this is the velocity of rain, To reverse this one, this will become like this and this will be the apparent the value. So velocity of rain to the man in the second case when he is moving in opposite direction. Now to find this value, if I look at this triangle, I superimpose on this triangle, this was 4. This is 5. And how much is this? Same as 3. This becomes the velocity of rain relative to man. In the second case, if it is 4, this is 3. And this is 3. Then Vrm from geometry is equal to 4 square plus 6 square root so that is equal to 16 plus 36 root and the values come to be root of 52 and the correct option is answer 1 question number 45 a wheel at rest is rotated with uniform angular acceleration such that a particle on the rim of the wheel experiences a tangential acceleration of 20 pi meter per second square. The radius of the wheel is 2 meter. The instantaneous period of rotation at the end of 4 second. Now on the wheel, which is rotating, the radius is 2 meter. And the tangential acceleration is given equal to 20 pi meter per second square. The instantaneous period of rotation at 4 second, that means omega we want to find out. Now, if 80 is known, then tangential acceleration is equal to r into alpha. So, 20 pi is equal to r is equal to 2 into alpha. Alpha is equal to 10 pi radian per second square. Then what is omega? Omega is equal to omega naught plus alpha t and omega will become equal to 0 and alpha is 10 pi and t is, he says, 4 second. So omega become equal to 40 pi radian per second. The instantaneous period of rotation, omega is equal to how much? 2 pi by t. Therefore, t is equal to 2 pi by omega and omega we have calculated is 45. 
So this become 1 by 20 second and which can be written as 0 0.05 second. So correct option should be 4. So answer this is 4. Now dear student, I hope that you have understood all the questions. Please read these questions, understand them and thank you very much. Thanks a lot.